Ugh. So this is the upcoming iPhone SE, is it? Well, let's see what the S stands for. Oh, hi there. I'm Sam Tucker from Samsung. You might have heard recently that details about the upcoming iPhone SE 4 have leaked, including specs as well as photos of the cases for the iPhone. And I have to say, the iPhone S is turning out to be quite bleh. Such as, for example, while we sell phones based on the features they have, such as folding, s pens, and Bixby, what? Actually, forget about that last one. Well, the best way to describe the iPhone SE is by the features it doesn't have, such as it'll look like a modern iPhone if you take one of the cameras out. So I guess no 3D spatial videos for you. Then again, the type of person who buys an SE phone probably doesn't have one of those fancy Apple headsets. Yeah, they'll probably wait for the cheaper Apple Vision SE, which is basically just an iPad on a stick. Although that's pretty much what an Apple Vision Pro is now. So no big change. This is incredible. Another thing the SE won't have is the new camera control button as the leaked cases don't seem to have a touch sensitive area that would accommodate that button. Which is a shame because all Apple would really have to do is take the touch sensitive home button from the old SE3 and put it on the side. But then again, that might require too much courage. And the cutout here on the case suggests that the phones will have the old mute switch instead of the new action button, which again is surprising. I mean, Samsung phones have had a special button on the side for years. The only reason people didn't press it is because it summons Bixby. You called, sir? No. And while Samsung have pioneered technology to make notches invisible, Apple has taken a different path and is saying to themselves, why? Duh. As in, bring back a wide notch instead of the modern dynamic island. All right, now, credit where credit's due, this is the cheaper Apple iPhone. I mean, for goodness sake, it's cheaper than our latest F and model. So of course it won't have all the latest iPhone features, and at least it doesn't look like an iPhone 6 anymore. But one thing they surprisingly won't skimp on is the chip, which is rumored to be the new A18 chip, which means their cheapest phone will work with all that Apple intelligence business. And that's something even the iPhone 15 doesn't do. So I guess if you were silly enough to buy an iPhone last year, well, this new one is telling you to suck it. The all new iPhone SE 4. Doing more for less. Ish. Although that less is still quite a lot. Subscribe today. Oh yes, they tried to keep Bixby out of this video, did they? Not a chance. Oh, hello everyone. Thank you for watching the video. And why not click the special Bixby button on the side of your phone, which you've reassigned to subscribing to the channel. I can't blame you though. Bixby can't win them all. Or one apparently.